Hey everyone, um, so today we're going to go over eight cardinal rules of self-defense. There's eight things that um, you should keep in mind when dealing with any situation. Um, now, uh, before we start out, thanks to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. I've got a few new ones lately and that's, uh, that's awesome guys. Um, end of the video I try to um, you know give people value in my video so at the end um, I'm gonna give you a good health tip to keep you in shape um, so if the weather's not good uh, you can even do this outside on a hot day I do it um, pretty regularly um, it's good for your bones keeping your bones strong and um, toxifying your body so I'll get into that at the end <coughs> uh, two health tips I'll give out straight away and you can Google them. Uh, it's worth five minutes finding out about these. One is shungite and the other is um, earthing. Now earthing will, um, or earthing is otherwise sometimes known as grounding. Basically, basically connecting with the earth. The easiest way to do it is putting your bare feet on the ground but now you can buy products so you can be earthed inside you can be earthed eight hours while you sleep earthed while you're on the computer and um <coughs> why is this good because earthing um gives you electrons that your body needs basically humans are electromagnetic fields and um as we go through life electrons in our cells uh get you know we lose electrons then the Earth gives off an infinite amount of uh, electrons, <coughs> so and these help you. Uh, what does Earthing do? It does a variety of things. Um, most diseases are caused by inflammation. So one of the main things that Earthing does is um, decreases and eliminates all inflammation and also one major <coughs> thing that earthing helps is a stress hormone called cortisol earthing that's why if you sleep earthed uh, it'll bring the um, cortisol levels back into a, a normal level everybody's out of sync at the moment most people 99.9% .9 of the population their cortisol levels <coughs> excuse me um, and shungite, what does shungite do? It's a mineral or rock, you want to look it up if you want to know does it actually work. Well look up shungite and bees, you know bees that produce honey. Uh, shungite is S-H-U-N-G-I-T and it's, uh, it'll keep, you know, <coughs> it's like earthing, it'll keep you, uh, keep uh, the the worst of uh, things like 5G, um, any um, you know Wi-Fi, any electromagnetic fields in your um, environment, it'll keep those. It will at least <coughs> lessen the um, the burden of those electromagnetic fields. Well, anyway, let's get into this. And now I'll leave the uh, links down below for that uh, for the earthing and the shun guide. Now, don't forget, I'm gonna give a um, what I think is pretty fun to do too um, health tip at the end let's go through these quickly you can probably read them in your own time uh, by watching the video but I can see here's the eight things that you sort of assume in any uh, self-defense situation you assume that an attacker, an attacker is intent on permanently injuring or killing you. That should be a given. Okay. Two. Consider any and every environment. One thing the self defense company does that um, a lot of self defense people don't do a lot of martial arts. The only time I've seen this, the, what they do is uh, on the self defense system. 
they actually stomp when they hit the ground. So they lift their legs, stomp. You know, as you're hitting, you're lifting legs, stomping, driving forward. But, you know, because it gets that forward momentum going. It also serves as a, a skier ta tactic. And it gets you driving forward. <coughs> Um, so you're picking, you're actually, you know, you're making sure you pick your legs up and, um, you know, you're bending your knees, you're driving forward. Now, I, I actually went to this um, other self-defense, uh, it was actually, a, I think it was a close combat thing too, years ago here in New Zealand and it was actually, uh, it was crap. One thing the, this guy was telling me to do is to like slide your feet and I've, you know, Slide your feet, the first thing you're going to do when you slide your feet is um, hit each and every rock that's there and um, that might be okay on the dojo or whatever, but sliding your feet is uh, not going to do the job. Uh, by, you know, stomping basically uh, with every step, you are... Um, Avoiding and um, making sure at the same time that you've got a steady grip on the ground. And you're avoiding any crap on the ground, basically. Uh, three, defend yourself even if you're not feeling well. So you're going to have to assume that. Because most people, like say here, will only go, and go after uh, people that look like you know, they're weaker or tired or stressed or, uh, you know, weak. That must be on the set of James Bond. Looks like Daniel Craig there injured himself for real. Assume there's more than one assault, assaultant, okay? Because there are some, but most uh, people, you know, to get their courage up or, you know, because... Uh, a lot of people that do shit like this when they're by themselves, not all, I'm not saying all, but a lot of them only get courage when they're around a whole bunch of people, you know, a whole bunch of their mates or whatever. Assume your assailant is larger and stronger. So, can you fight off uh, uh, someone who towers over you? Um, ladies, have you ever practiced fighting off someone who has 50 pounds on you? And distinct strength advantage. Uh, so the self-defense training system covers all this. Covers, you know, how to do that. Assume your silent is tougher and accustomed to violence. So assume that they're used to it. You know, used to violence, used to hassling people, used to burglaring, uh, assaulting people. Assume that your assailant is armed. <coughs> yep. That's a that's a biggie. They could have knives in the back of their pants, uh, you know, um, guns at the back of their pants, uh, knives in their socks, uh, you know, uh, push diggers around their neck, uh, whatever. Assume that you'll be dealing with the worst case and most nightmarish scenario you could ever imagine. Okay? So you, those are the cardinal rules, the things that you should assume about every potential incident. Don't get hung, hang up on a system or style. If your intent is self-defense, then there's only one thing you should care about, results. There's only one solution for self-defense, and it is simple, powerful, and brutal. There's no such thing as advanced self-defense. It's all simple, because it has to be. When someone approaches you, and decides to turn it up, and your adrenaline hits, all those fancy and intricate moves go right out the window. Yep. What else is this? I haven't... Uh, oh, yeah, so that's just people's comments there. So let's go run through that quickly again. Well, I like it to be the best. I know I'm a little bit biased. That said, we're selecting... When selecting a martial arts... For self-defense, certain standards have to be met regardless of your style or system. For those of us at the self-defense company, we go by eight simple rules that can help you. And these are, again, assume that an attacker is intent on permanently injuring or killing you. 
pretty common sense sort of things, but consider any and every environment, so you have to train for that. Defend yourself even if you're not feeling 100%. Assume there's more than one assailant. Assume your assailant is larger and stronger. Assume your assailant is tougher and accustomed to violence. Assume that your assailant is armed. Assume that you'll be dealing with the worst case and worst case and most nightmare scenario you could ever imagine. Now, guys, <coughs> um, once again, thanks to my um, subscribers. Um, now, look, I also have to say that uh, YouTube is does what they call um, because I talk about some stuff that YouTube doesn't necessarily like, um, they've done to me what's called um, shadow banning, which basically means sometimes I don't see, you know, people, there'll be comments on my videos and I can't see them, so, you know, to me they looks like there's, there are no comments. Um, you know, I've had people um, say to me, one lady um, actually sent me a comment and I saw it, luckily she said, well, this is strange, your video has got, what you say, three likes and no views, so things like that happen, I'll have, I'll have uh, no views, but, you know, three or four likes, and just things like that, and sometimes I don't see comments, like I say, or all the comments are put in, uh, what do you call it, uh, spam, and they're not spam, um, so if you guys do comment or whatever, you know, don't get back to you immediately, it could be because of that, because I do try to answer everybody's, and you know, get, you know, uh, see what people are saying, because um, in the past I've had some really good uh, feedback, people have taught me heaps in their comments and that, um, so it's good to have that interaction, it's good to know where I could improve, etc, so you know, uh, like in the past, people have said, uh, you know, that I um and ha and that too much. I do on the longer videos, I tend to do that because I'm, um, what do you call it, um, flying by the seat of my pants, basically. Uh, I have a lot to go over. Sometimes I'm actually, when I'm talking about, especially truth of stuff, when I'm connecting all the dots, I don't write anything down or anything like that. Maybe I might have to start doing that, but I, I like to be, you know, sort of keep it as real as possible. Um, and um, when I'm connecting dots, you know, what do you call it, when I'm doing like pattern recognition stuff, I my I feel like my mind has to be free to to do that pattern recognition stuff, and then finally bring it all together. Um, yeah, uh, so. Um, yeah, another comment was that I, you know, sort of smack my lips sometimes. I do, you know, sort of, you know, that sort of business. Uh, so it's all good, good feedback, and I'm trying to, um, you know, remedy some of that stuff. You know, you guys wouldn't believe, or maybe you do, you wouldn't, uh, you know, you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't believe how, <laughs> you know, once you got into a habit with your talking, how tricky it is to change it, you know. Uh, I, you know, I do do subconscious programming, so if I can't get rid of some of those habits that I do on thing, uh, but I, I'll try to do it without subconscious programming, because I try to leave the subconscious programming for the major stuff, you know, tough stuff that you want to, that's been programmed into you, and like whatever, you know, you've been programmed to, uh, programmed to, with certain beliefs, like, you know, whatever, uh, you know, money's bad or whatever. Um, so there you go. Now, guys. Um, so new people, if you can hit that subscribe button. You know, like I say, I try to give value in all my um, videos. Uh, so there's this. There's self defence. I've got many more self defence ones coming. I've got. I kind of trying to combine it with um, health te techniques too. And uh, over the years, uh, I've actually tried and tested these and uh, found them to be awesome. Uh, there's now there's one I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, but if you know, I leave uh, links down below to all the self defence uh, material. Links below to Shungite. Um, 
I'll also leave a link to, to one of the things I'm going to talk about in a minute. Good house tip, which, like I said, I st still do and I'll probably do, you know, for the rest of my life. Every now and then, you know, like every once a week at least, for 30 minutes, just to keep the body um, good, uh, detoxed and um, bone strong, etc. Yeah, so guys, if you can, um, one thing you can do to help me out, uh, if you can't, you know, donate any money or whatever, just watch my videos on YouTube, because that helps me out, and, oh, not YouTube, oh, sorry, BitTube, if you don't know about BitTube, it's a, go and look at it, sign up guys, make a channel on BitTube, it's, uh, it's fantastic, one thing about BitTube is they've got a tip button, and you can tip, if you find value in just that one video, you know, I wish that YouTube would do something like this. Just for one video, you know, it doesn't have to be all your videos or whatever. You can tip them for that one video, you know, dollar or whatever. So if you want, you can do that if you watch this on BitTube. There should be a button under this this video um, regarding that. Sorry about that, guys. There was uh, all my stuff on um, Screenomatic. Um, right. So this, um, yes, but if you can't do anything else, Guys, though, I tell you, I'd get on BitTube. Uh, I love it. Uh, but yeah, if you can't do anything else, uh, you know, I'd really appreciate it um, if you can um, sub. Now, um, if you guys also got, you know, similar channels to me in that, uh, you know, that I would watch, because I'm not really into the sub for sub thing, because, you know, people do that. They sub for sub, but then they don't, you know, there's not much likelihood that you're going to actually watch that person's channel <coughs> if it's not stuff that they're interested. But, um, you know, if you've got similar channels to me and you think I'd be interested, uh, you know, just let me know in the comments. I think, though, that could be quite tricky because as soon as you put your, you know, your YouTube channel, it might be okay with a YouTube address, but yeah, because sometimes they put in the spam. But yeah, just let me know if you've got a channel and um, I'll go and have a look and I'll um, sub, you know, if it's interesting stuff. It's about helping each other out. But yeah, I'm not as, uh, I'm not into the sub for sub. But like I say, if it's, if it's, people are doing other, you know, interesting stuff that, you know, you're interested in my channel and I'm interested in your channel, you know, it might just make sense to help each other out. Okay. Now, so I've got the links below. Um, now, the house tip for today is, if you haven't heard of it, it's rebounding. I've highlighted that because writing's hard to see. But you remember, you know, when you were young, when I, my son and I used to do bouncing on trampoline, I sort of wondered why I always felt good afterwards. And... Um, you know, bounce it up and down on the trampoline, and you can do it indoors with a little rebounder, like here. Um, but people think you can just, you know, you just bounce up and down, and um, there's some of the uh, benefits there. It's associated with muscular growth, reducing arthritic pain, detoxification, that definitely does that. Why does it detox? The main thing that rebounding or jumping on trampoline does is um, opens... Get your lymphatic system moving, you know, the, the little valves that will open and close, open and close. And usually, if you're not doing anything, they, they, they don't open and close much. Uh, and the lymph, it, that are, uh, you know, jumping up and down, it flushes the lymph nodes, all the toxic stuff that it's in the lymph nodes, keep, keeps the body healthy. Now, people think, you know, oh, it's boring um, jumping up and down, but look at all the stuff you can do. Slow pace jumping, fast pace jumping, walking, jogging, rebounds, sprinting, star jumps, knees jumps, scissor jumps, high jumps. So you can do all that on, the, on a rebounder. You know, 20 minutes a day, you know, a couple of times a week or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's very practical. It's an all-in-one. You can fold, you can... This particular one that I've got a link to below is uh, need, called Kneedak from kneedak.com. Uh, they seem to, um, you know, do awesome stuff, and then, you know, they, um, you can buy, you know, you can buy all sorts of, um, 
rebounders too. Now, there are people say, well, I'm too heavy for a rebounder. No, I've actually got quite a few, quite a few, here we go, rebounders. Let's have a look. They've actually got quite a few guys, uh, all sorts, you know, for the heavier people, etc., etc. So that's, I've got soft bounce rebounders. Uh, one thing you probably couldn't do is a back flip it or forward flip. <laughs> I used to like doing those with this one. Uh, there's hard bounce, if you want a hard bounce. 600 pounds, so guys, I don't think many of you out there would be over 600. Uh, and these ones, soft bounce, up to 300 pounds. Uh, and then 600 pounds, okay? So don't think, oh, I'm too heavy, you know, I'll break it. No, no, you won't. Now, when you're finished with these, you can fold them away. Easy fold away, easy to fold away. And um, the good thing about it is you can do them inside, or if it's a sunny day, you know, take it outside and bounce away outside. You feel really good, um, you know, and you can, you know, you can watch YouTube and bounce away, get fit while you're bouncing on YouTube. Another thing, not bouncing on bloody YouTube. <laughs> um, another thing I know, I read somewhere that rebounding, uh, what it does is strengthens your bones because, you know, your bones are getting used to going against the forces of gravity because that's what you're doing. Uh, or, you know, you have, because you have the gravity pulling on you and then... It's supposed to be good for your bones. So this is all you can do, so it doesn't have to be boring. I'll leave links below to this, and guys, we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully there's some value there. Uh, you know, if you think that this is not good, uh, you know, I used to think that once upon a time, but it's, um, you could do, I think, oh, where did I see? Some boxer, I forget who it was. Some boxer, that's all he used to do, was just his workout on a rebound. Obviously, he's probably doing all sorts. Imagine skipping, I haven't tried that, skipping on a rebounder. <laughs> but yeah, some uh, boxer, apparently he did all his training on a, um, apart from, I don't know if you could, you could probably, you know, jog on it too. So there you go, guys, I'll leave links for that below, and I'll see you on the next one.